Hey friends, this box and this knife can only mean one thing. Today is a new guitar day. Coming right up. So my friends at Glarry obviously reached out to me again, having already unboxed and demoed the Glarry acoustic guitar, they sent me an electric to try out and I had a choice. So let's see what that choice was. Well, I can tell you it comes with a gig bag. Again, for the value of this guitar, this is pretty impressive. So one gig bag and also it comes with a cable and a trim bar or a whammy bar and I'm not sure what the other little package is in there but we'll have a look at that in a minute and it also comes with a strap so we'll get rid of the box and open her up fairly much the weight that I was expecting for this type of guitar so what did we get inspired by Mr. Clapton himself and Blackie, I went for a black Strat style guitar with a blonde neck. And although it's actually covered in muck from the bag, first impressions are that the weight is good. A slightly loose strap button there. The other one's fine. The first thing you notice on picking it up is that there's minimal finishing on the neck. Although I would say that the, the neck profile is a fairly deep C profile neck. And there seems to be a kind of a, some sort of a film or something or rough bit under the edge where your hand accesses the top frets. That's a bit better. I think it was just some of the finishing. The pick guard is an interesting shape, an interesting cut. A little bit narrower here than on the real deal. Uh, there's obviously plastic five-way selector switch. That's quite tight, but certainly not going to be difficult to knock across while playing. The action on this is I'm gonna say something above about 1.5 mil so it's quite high but looks very much like it can be adjusted because each of the 
the bridge saddles on the tailpiece are pretty high so I'm guessing this will need a bit of a setup. Truss rod is the hex style truss rod in the end. It's got a couple of string trees on it. Uh, the Glary logo on the headstock is quite cool. No problems with that. And pretty standard tuners, let's see. No play in those. Actually, they feel really, really good for a guitar of this price. In the UK, this guitar sells for just a shade under 70 GBP. And so, pretty cheap. Um, quite like the, uh, the white cover plate at the back, although like all of my guitars, if this hangs around, that will be coming off. It's got a standard four screw Fender style neck plate. The wood grain on the neck is actually quite pretty. And it is a separate fingerboard, and it needs to be, because as you'll see, there is no skunk stripe at the back. So the truss rod route would have been from the front and then the fretboard stuck over the top. And actually, I quite like that, because then you, you get a nice, straightforward, uh, unblemished back of the neck. The nut is plastic. It's pretty deeply cut to be fair uh, which may need some attention because I'm going to guess that that may bind let's give it a rough tune okay something I've been practicing recently is trying to tune by ear without reference notes and actually that's not bad on this occasion Not quite there, but it's good practice. So, let's have a quick check of the intonation. Well, on first check, just by ear, that sounds pretty close, if not smack bang on. So, let's have a little bit of a check, see if there's any, any fret buzz anywhere. Nothing at all. It's actually pretty playable straight out of the box. Really, really quite impressive. A nice feeling guitar to play. Let's uh, get her plugged in and let's have a quick look at what else comes with her. But let's, let's have a few tone tests first.
comes with a strap. Pretty standard and flimsy beginner style strap, but certainly long enough to get on this guitar. We've got the whammy. Let's just check that that actually slots in okay and works. Oh, this is often the case with these cheaper style guitars, actually getting the, the whammy in is a little bit trickier, but that's in. Let's see, let's give it the tuning test. Wow, the whammy is not floating at the moment. It's almost screwed solidly to the body, uh, which indicates that there may be a tuning issue with that when we finally get it floating, if we get it finally get it floating. Also, with it comes this incredibly expensive cable. What do you expect for the money? I mean, to be fair, they do the job for a short while. And, oh, I've got a, a little black pick plain black pick and an adjuster for the saddle height, Allen wrench or hex wrench, whatever you want to call it, and a hex wrench in a little plastic tool bag for the truss rod. So pretty much everything you need apart from an amp to get started with a reasonably priced starter instrument. With the action and setup done on this guitar, this could prove to be a very, very good value beginner guitar. So we'll do all that and I'll give you a bit more of a, a demo of it at some stage soon. But for now, this is Clapton on a budget, the budget Clapton guitar from Glarry. Give me a shout in the comments down below and let me know what you think of this for the value. And I'll be back really soon with more great content. If you've liked this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, it can't hurt. And if you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon so that you get notified when I upload a new video, which is usually every Tuesday and Friday. And I'll be back really soon with that. And in the meantime, as always friends, you take good care.